In the Jesus record we have it, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. I stand at the door and knock. In other words, be always an open invite to receive, for them to receive goodness from you. Not an open invite for them to do you harm. You know, that's just casting pearls before swine. That's a graphic uh, King James rendering, isn't it? But, you know, um, you're not there to be fodder and feed for harm and destruction. But you are offering to come in if they want your goodness the presence of God. If they don't, don't force the door open and stay in, come what may. That's a nonsense. What good do you think will come of that? Nothing but war. If they won't receive you in this city, shake off the dust of your feet. Go to another. That's the basic principle. If they won't receive you, if they're antagonistic to you, back off. Go to those that are seeking. Move on. Now, from God's point of view, he then has you experiencing acceptance or rejection and learning from this situation, understanding better the importance of harmony, fellowship, godliness, true love and kindness, how to be creative, in a way that doesn't end up as incredible destruction. You see, if you realize, if you think for a moment how God relates to most people, well, they don't even know he's there. They're not conscious of it 99, if not 100% of their day. And I mean, some people are so busy criticizing the day and moaning and groaning and fearing and worrying, of course, poor souls that God doesn't come into it at all. He's not ramming himself in their way, though, with signs and miracles, and only with the miracle of creation, which they've become so used to there, they take for granted. And most, and the most critical of, of course, everything's wrong with it, instead of everything right. Sorry, I don't want to be critical of them, but they're, they're in that trap, aren't they, you see? But he doesn't blast in and break the trap. He doesn't force himself. He's created a universe in which, sorry, a material time-space universe, in which they can taste both the fruits of the good and the fruits of evil actions and intentions and uh, circumstances sometimes not intended by anyone good and bad you see and from that have a longing a desire for God and goodness and that longing is the foundation on which they mature and become eligible to be part of the host of heaven, an eternal safety with glorious company. Thank you, Heavenly Father.